this year marks the 50th anniversary of the world famous Duxford Air Shows, which also happens to coincide with Dermot's 50th yeah, birthday. So, uh, to celebrate the milestones, oh, that's your bit. I don't know why I'm taking it. That's all right. You're excited because <laughs> you want to see it. Yeah. It was the perfect way to celebrate the milestones because we sent you on a very, very special day. You say Hollywood, you think of movies. You say Wimbledon, you think of tennis. You say Duxford, you think of planes. Especially this weekend. When, as part of the celebrations for the 50th anniversary of Duxford Air Shows, they'll be hosting their two day summer air show. And one of the stars of this spectacular event is this the world's only two seater Walker Home. Established during World War I, Duxford was one of the first Royal Air Force stations, a role it fulfilled with distinction for almost 40 years. Particularly during World War II, when its squadrons were at the forefront of the Battle of Britain. Duxford's last operational RAF flight was in 1961, and then the Imperial War Museum largely used it for storage and restoration, until in the 1970s, it got a new lease of life. Back in 1973, Duxford hosted its first ever air show, which coincides with a certain someone being born, but we don't like to talk about that. So, to celebrate my birthday, the wonderful people here invite me down to fly in a Hawk Hurricane. What? And as the ground team prep our hurricane, wow, her pilot, they get at 80, time for the history bit, because you're worth it. Phil. I need no converting. I used to come here a lot when I was a kid, but why is Duxford so synonymous with planes and the Battle of Britain? It's probably the best preserved Second World War airfield there is in the country. It's got such a fantastic collection here. We've got everything from a Concorde through to Spitfires. And, and then when you're here, especially on a beautiful sunny day like this, there's always something flying. I remember these air shows when I was a kid, and there's just something so... I mean, I feel like crying talking about them. This, that's where I first fell in love. Um, with aviation. How special are these air shows? Our summer show, we're focusing in not just on 50 years of air shows at Duxford, but also 120 years of flight. First World War aircraft, Spitfires and Hurricanes, the Red Arrows, and then we've got Duxford's first ever display of a fully electric aircraft. What? Yes. And electric certainly sums up the atmosphere for me as I walk to the plane. And that very cool gentleman next to me is Mike Collett, the pilot. I can't tell you how excited. We're right next to the Hurricane. It's incredible, isn't it? Yeah. The Hurricane's an amazing aeroplane. It was groundbreaking when it came out. It was the first aircraft that the Royal Air Force had that went through 300 miles an hour. Right, I'm in the cockpit, and I've already had an extensive safety briefing, so it's just time for some last-minute practical notes. It's very handily, they've given me a parachute, which I'm sure is purely precautionary. <laughs> Wow! I mean, what a noise! And the Spitfire gets kind of more credit than the Hurricane, for the layman at least. Why is that? The Spitfire's more of a poster girl, isn't she? She's glamorous, that elliptical wing, yeah. fast, sleek, sexy. Whereas the Hurricane was the workhorse. In the Battle of Britain, she shot down two thirds of all the aircraft, including the anti aircraft gun fire. Oh, Spitfire really won the PR war. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> right, ready, Dermot? Yeah, and away we go. So exciting. Take off so quick as well. Woohoo! Oh, Mike, it's so graceful. Not bad, is it? Dancing through those clouds. As we've heard, the Hurricane shot down two thirds of all the planes in the Battle of Britain. And the secret to that success was its incredible durability. The, the Germans would shoot at it, and the shells would go straight through the side of the aircraft, because it's Irish linen on the back of it. And the aircraft would come back with tremendous damage and with half the rudder missing, and the guys would be able to repair it and get it flying again. So if the Spitfire's out of action, it would take a lot longer. They would have to get metal work repairs on it. Fascinating. And it wasn't just the planes that were incredibly resilient. So were the pilots. The average age of a Battle of Britain pilot was just 20, many of whom made the ultimate sacrifice. My words can never do justice to the experience of flying this plane. But as Mike demonstrates what this plane can do, the words of high flight, written by a World War II pilot, can. 
Oh, I've slipped the surly bonds of earth and danced the skies on laughter silvered wings. Somewhere I've climbed and joined the tumbling mirth of sun-split clouds and done a hundred things you have not dreamed of. Wheeled and soared and swung high in the sunlit silence. What an incredible feeling. This sense of history is pretty overwhelming to be honest. Where never lark nor ever eagle flew, and while with silent lifting mind I've trod the high untrespassed sanctity of a space, put out my hand and touched the face of God. Wow. Uh, happy? Yeah, I'm happy. Finally, I was offered the chance of a lifetime to take control of the hurricane. To which, naturally, I said, Are you mad? I'm going to try a left hand turn. Just wish Mike would stop doing that. I'm back, you're all coming again. With the plane safely back in Mike's hands, there was just time for a final fly past before touching gently back to Earth. <laughs> well done, mate. Thanks so much, Mike. Top effort. Oh, wow. How was it? Incredible. You're just dancing through the clouds. It's just such a privilege to fly in it. It really is. And such... It's so fun. Oh, my gosh. Oh. So what, like, for anyone that's never going to get to experience that but dreamed of it... Yeah. So, what was it just like? Just living history. Yeah. Just feel like, just the, the, as soon as you sit in it, there's the smell. Yeah. So evocative. And then it takes... It's so graceful. Yeah. As soon as it takes off. It's very special. So though. you feel... It's really weird because you feel like... You feel completely safe, but you feel like you're in something that's... Yes, it is, of course. It's almost 100 years, 80 years old, whatever. Mm. But you're still... You still feel so secure inside it. Yeah, amazing. Well, well Incredible. done, you. Uh, well listen, done. And happy I, birthday. Well, thank you. And happy birthday, Thanks Duxford. for my present. <laughs> um, so um, I used to go to Duxford all the time when I was a kid because yeah. we grew up quite close to there. And there's loads of air shows coming up this summer. So if you'd like to attend the Duxford air show this weekend, you need to book in advance. And I think there's some more towards the, the tail end of the summer as well. Yeah, that's a good well day out. Doing. Very it's a great day museum out. as well.